Have you guys ever paid a videographer for a long form listing video only to get hit with an extra fee when you ask for a vertical reel or TikTok clip? For most of us, marketing budgets aren't bottomless, but attention spans on social media sure are. Today, I'm gonna show you how to squeeze two pieces of content out of that one shoot by turning your full link listing video into a high impact short form video, all inside CapCut Desktop. No fancy plugins, no complicated timeline gymnastics, just a few modifications, a bit of reframing, and you're gonna be ready to post. Stick around because we'll walk through my exact workflow step by step, and then we'll watch the finished vertical video together so you can see the difference that this little hack makes. Okay, so now we're in the CapCut desktop app. I already have my video here. We'll drop it down on a timeline and I will show you guys what this one looks like. Hey everyone, welcome to my latest listing here in Woodbury. It's a beautifully updated end unit townhome that's turnkey and ready for you. The best part about it, it's just seconds away from the Eagle Valley Golf Course. Let's head inside and take a look. All right, so we're gonna take that and we're gonna turn that uh, into a vertical video. So I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are probably thinking like, all you have to do is change the aspect ratio, right? And so that's what some people would do is they would go over here, right below the preview where it says ratio, you click that and you would change it from 16 by nine to nine by 16. And now you have a vertical aspect ratio. Of course you would have to go ahead and increase the size of the video to make it fit the frame. So a lot of people would do that. And we'll watch that back just for a second so I can show you why I wouldn't do this. Hey everyone, welcome to my latest listing here in Woodbury. It's a beautifully updated. You see, it kind of lines up though. As far as like the framing on my body, like it doesn't look too bad, but you'll see as the video goes on where I think that it needs some improvement. The part about it, it's just seconds away from the Eagle Valley Golf Course. Let's head inside and take a look. All right, so there's the first part. It needs improvement. You can see here, this logo pops up on the screen and it's completely cut off. So you can see right here, it's cut off. Um, as we go through some of this drone stuff, a lot of times this drone stuff won't be lined up. You can see here that the property address is cut off. And as we go through here, some of these shots ain't too bad. You know, they're kind of cropped in quite a bit, so they're not quite as wide as I'd like them to be, but you know, that one here just kind of shows an empty room. Framing isn't great on a lot of them. Framing's not bad on that one. You see here, it kind of chops off what I'm trying to show, which is the deck. It's hard to see what's going on in these kitchen ones because you don't get a full picture. You know, here, you can just see kind of a little sliver of the vanity and then you can see you know like two-thirds of the tub you guys get the gist of it so then you get to the end here and my text is cut off again so i'm going to show you guys how to improve on this and so that you can post this with confidence and know that it looks way better so the first step is actually coming down here and changing the aspect ratio from the 16 by 9 to the 9 by 16 and then increasing the size of the video to fit the frame but then the next step is we're gonna go through and we're gonna recut all of these clips. So you're gonna see here as we go through and we get to the next one, I'm actually gonna cut this. I'm gonna use the arrow keys to figure out where the cut is and I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna cut this. Now the way that you cut video inside CapCut is you can go here above the timeline and you can select split. That's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is through your keyboard shortcuts and I set my keyboard shortcut for cut to be C, just because that makes sense to me. You can change all your keyboard shortcuts here up in the top right, you select this thing, and now you can change your keyboard shortcuts. As you can see here, I have split as C. And so I can just hover the playhead above where I want it to cut, and then press C, and then it will cut. Another quick thing I wanted to uh, address, because I've had a lot of comments, people asking me, because I usually have this turned on here where it says playhead, uh, preview, which is here. So when you turn this on, you get a yellow line. And then when you get that yellow line, everywhere you press your split shortcut, it actually cuts the clip. So I like to use that too, because it does speed up the process a little bit. But to simplify this video, we're gonna turn that off for now. So all right, we will go to each clip and I am going to resplit them. So we'll do that really quick and I'll be right back. All right, so now I've separated the clips here. I actually kept these first two clips together because you can see my logo pops up kind of right between the clips. But I have all of the other clips 
re-separated. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna address this first clip because we want that logo to not only be more visible, but we also want this drone shot to be a little bit wider because that's the reason why you have drone shots, right? It's because you want them to be nice wide shots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that clip, I'm gonna hold option, I'm gonna drag the clip up, which is gonna duplicate another uh, identical clip on top of the first main clip. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna shrink down this main clip on top because that way, I'm gonna turn on the volume so you guys can't hear it. But when we play it back, you'll see not only now are we more focused on having this wider drone shot, but also when the logo pops up, it's more visible. It's in frame, as is the address for the property, right? In fact, we might even make this one a little bit smaller because we want to be able to see that full address and that full logo. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to take this bottom clip and we are going to add an effect. So the effect that we're going to add is going to be called blur. So I'll search for blur. Here it is. There's actually quite a few different blurs you can use. So I'm going to use this one here. We'll put that down on the effect. Now you can see that there's like a duplicate clip but it's blurred out in the background. I am framed better. You can see here that the logo uh, shows better and then the address is actually uh, not cut off at all in the clip. So that's how we're gonna do these drone shots. I'd probably go through and I'll probably do the same thing with this clip right here. I'll go ahead and duplicate this one. We'll go to the top clip and now we will shrink this down. Sometimes I look to see how far did I shrink down this first one because I want them to match. So 165%, try 165% on this for scale. There we go. Go ahead and drop this blur down. So now on this end clip, you can see the full text and it's a little bit wider shot, better framed of me as well. I will do the same with this last drone shot because you always want your drone shots to be wide, right? That's the whole point of getting the drone shot is to make it a little bit wider and a little bit more visible. So it's gonna look a lot better. So, all right, so we took care of those. Now let's take care of some of these in-between clips. So as we go into this room, this doesn't look too bad, but what we're gonna do now is we're actually going to uh, just change the position of some of these shots, right? So this one, we actually wanted to show off that fireplace a little bit more. Um, we get to this one here, and let's just look around. Okay, we're probably gonna move this one over to where it shows a little bit more of kind of where you're at in the room, right? Because originally it just showed an empty room with just a sliding glass door, but now we can see that there's a breakfast bar here with a pendant light above it. All right, this one here, I think I'm gonna do the same thing I did with some of the exterior shots, because I think this one just needs to be a little bit wider. So we will drop the blur on the bottom layer after duplicating it, and then we will shrink this down a little bit, because we, we really wanna show off and showcase this fireplace along with the built-ins as well. Funny is I actually didn't cut this for whatever reason, so I think I am gonna cut this. So that way I can take this fireplace clip here and I can move this over a little bit so it's a little bit better framed. So that's the joy of it is I can have it framed however I want as long as I recut the clips. And so I'll show you the third thing that I'll do here to modify these clips to make them look better. So I'll take this clip here, it's a kitchen clip, and it's showing half of the fridge, part of the dishwasher. It's not really showing a ton. And I will duplicate the clip. And now with the top clip selected, I'm gonna shrink down the clip and I'm gonna slide it over to one side. So this is gonna show off kind of like the right side of the clip. And then I'll click on the bottom of the clip, or I should say the bottom clip shrink this down and now I'm going to show the other side of the room. So here we'll make them a little bit more even. So this is like a stacked clip. So, so now when we play that back, you can see here it's actually showing off the refrigerator in the top part of the clip and then it's showing off the other two appliances in this bottom part of the clip. Here, let's do one more like that here. Let's use this bathroom one. So we will hold option. We will duplicate the clip. Once it's duplicated with the top clip selected, I will shrink this down a little bit so that I can see this half of the room. 
Now I'll select the bottom part of the clip. I'll shrink that down. And now on this one, maybe we want to see the other half of the room with the tub in it. You can actually leave a space between these two if you just want to have the black bar in between separating the two. So you can do you can do it like we did this last one where there's nothing separating it, or you can leave a space here, or you can actually even put a color uh, behind it if you wanted to use just like a PNG clip of a color there behind it. But these are the three things I would do to the video clips. I will um, make them wider with the kind of like the Gaussian blur background just so you can see everything that's going on in the video. I will do the stack clips here like I just showed you guys with or without the separator bar. And then in some clips, all I will do is I will move them left or right just to make sure that they are better framed in a short form video rather than just having, you know, it play back the video or the clip and just having something like this showing, which isn't really giving the viewer an idea of what they're even looking at. I mean, they're looking at in that situation, part of an empty room, but they don't really know what they're looking at. So I like to reframe those so that they make more sense to the viewer. Okay, so I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna finish this video and then I am going to play it back for you guys so you guys can see what the final video looks like with the music and with these different techniques that I used to make this video a short form video. So without further ado, let's take a look at the finished video. Hey everyone, welcome to my latest listing here in Woodbury. It's a beautifully updated end unit townhome that's turnkey and ready for you. The best part about it, it's just seconds away from the Eagle Valley Golf Course. Let's head inside and take a look. Right as you walk in the main living area, you're greeted by a bright open floor plan, crisp fresh paint throughout, and a gas fireplace with built-ins. Natural light pours in from large windows and an eight foot sliding door that draws your eye straight out to the private deck. In the kitchen, you'll find gleaming granite counters, a designer tile backsplash, and a full suite of newer stainless steel appliances, framed by light gray cabinetry. Whether you're meal prepping or entertaining, everything you need is right here. Upstairs, we have plush new carpet and a remodeled bathroom that feels like it's something straight out of a design magazine. Fresh tile work, updated fixtures, and a sleek vanity that ties it all together. Thanks for checking out my new listing here in Woodbury. For more information, just DM me the words Eagle Trace and I'll make sure I get you all the details. Again, thanks for watching. I'm Corey Melville and I will see you all on the next one. And that's a wrap. You've now turned one cinematic listing video into a scroll stopping short without spending an extra dime on editing fees. If you found value here, hit subscribe, like and share the video, and if you're interested in learning about CapCut's multicam feature, check out this video right here.